but I'm going back and I'm getting a bike. I hate the bike. I really hate the bike. So, hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Star Salvage. I'm Seven Foot Does Bunny, and here we are at the quarantine planet, and what are we going to find? Now, we need to craft 10 health packs. We also need to kill some space drones, but I've not seen any space drones recently. Um, we have a yellow marker up there. That is something we don't need to worry about. Okay, so this is the quarantine planet. Now, what we need to do is get to the quarantine station, which may actually be behind us. Is the quarantine state <clears throat> is the quarantine station actually behind us? So we need to get to the quarantine station, which I'm guessing might well be this one over here, about eight clicks out. Um, but, ah, this is probably the quarantine station. This one right here. So we're going to look at whatever that is, eight clicks out. But that seems to be the quarantine station, where we can teleport our butt down to the planet. The only other thing I'm interested in is I noticed there's another chevron thing right here, which we might want to have a look at. That could also be the quarantine station, depending on what they are. So I'll have a look around and we'll see if there's anything good. OK, so we're approaching the Polaris base and we have discovered a quarantine station. So this will be the quarantine station for sure that we need to go to to teleport down to the planet for the main quest. So what I'm going to do is I am interested in what the other chevron item is on the map, which was over here. So I'm going to go and check that out probably in probably just in the um, scrapper, to be honest, just because that's got a shield. Um, the quarantine station, I'm should, I'm going to consider it a safe place to leave the ship. So I'm going to power down and just head over there in the scrapper and see what it is. Hopefully with all that powered down, we should have, we have 62 hours of power. Excellent. So we're on approach here. And interestingly, this um, Chevron base seems to be right by this junk pile um, there does seem to be a couple of other things of interest out here there's something else here a pirate something which we might go and take a look at so that is a actually just a trading station so the question is is it an actual trading station or is it a a non trading station as in a derelict trading station now generally the derelict trading stations are called derelict trading th stations so i'm gonna take it that this is a fully operational trading station um we haven't got all our gear for trading here so that's slightly disappointing but you know it's worth knowing it's here because if it is a fully operational trading station, we uh, might well be able to sell off some additional goods here, which would be very handy. Um, this does not look like a fully armed and operational trading station to me. It seems to be a, a derelict trading station. Plus, I do not have an EVA boost in. Um, question. Where's the place that has the, um, oh God, there's a whole, I'm freezing to death. Um, excuse me, freezing, sorry, cold, got to go. Um, okay, yeah, I'm very cold, I'm very cold, I'm very cold, I'm very cold. So I might need to bring an EVA boost with me, which is something I didn't really think about. Um, I don't think I've got one on board. Ow. That hurt. Right, uh, I don't have anything to deal with this on board. Um, anything? Use all the things. There we go. 
I feel great. Everything's fine. So that's interesting that that is actually a derelict trading station. Yeah, pretty sure I don't actually have anything useful in any of those cupboards now. Okay, good to note. I will keep that noted. And uh, we might have a look at that one just because we know there is a loot container in there. And um, then we'll probably have a look at whatever that is while we're over this way. And then I might poke that Xerax uh, base on the way back just to see whether I can spawn some space drones as you'll see that I've switched to space drone, space droning. So let's head over and have a look at this pirate base. Okay, so approaching the pirate base, it appears to be a pirate cobalt asteroid. Well, cobalt bolts fairly valuable. Um, here is a question. When it says pirate cobalt asteroid, are we talking a defended pirate cobalt asteroid? Or are we talking an asteroid I can then say, this is my cobalt asteroid? says it belongs to pirates it does not seem to be in any way inhabited no so granted it will probably just upset them if I drill some of this but that's not a big deal I might drill some of it anyway later okay so poking the Xerox base on the way back Okay, so we're 3Ks out from the Xerox base, which should be just ahead. It's just the Xerox defense station by the looks of it, which means we can probably pop it off relatively easily here. Um, should be able to take it out with the guns we've got with relative ease, he says. Um, hopefully we're trained on weapons. I think we are. Um, what are we doing here? Oh, we are taking out a gun turret on the top. So it is literally just a little defense station here. Come on, go. Get it. I think I'm actually too close. To get it to take it out. I, I wish I had some lights. Oh, it's, it's finally spotted me. Will you send some drones? I mean... It doesn't even appear to be shooting back at the moment. I'm hoping this is gonna... gonna die relatively soon. There we go. Okay, you're still shooting. What are you still shooting? Are you shooting there's probably a gun on the other end? No, there is not. Okay, so let's fly around here and have a sort of close view. Um, I don't have spotlights. I don't have. <laughs> I don't even have my night vision on me. I have, I have come extremely poorly, poorly prepared here. By the looks of it. Um, ammo storage box. Do I have anything? Uh, no. Excellent. Good to know. I came with nothing that I might need for doing something like this. Okay, so I'm going to have to try and get out a second and see if I can see anything. It is dark. There's a door. There's a door. Let's go in. Okay, there's a door. Um, there is oxygen in here. There is a fuel tank. There is a core. Okay, can I shoot through this block then? I can, and I can shoot this core. Base is mine. Um, so, yes, I'm getting very cold, but, 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 he says, I should be able to slap a core on the side a second before I jump back in, and then I should be able to, uh, let me in, <laughs> can't get in my own door. Oh no. Um, right, so I should now be able to say I am in Rizuna orbit and 
very close to me is the defense station. Can I get to the control panel? Thank you. Right. Fuel. Okay, no wireless connection. Fuel. Small generator. Clean core. Blah, blah, blah. Right. We might be able to grab some fuel off it. And that's about all we're going to get. So let's grab any fuel we can get. Wow. Literally almost nothing. So that's pretty disappointing. Um, right, where's my claim core? Let's grab the claim core and let's get back in the warm before I freeze to death again. Right. In we go. Okay, so that was not a lot. We will go back to the quarantine station and go from there. Okay, so we're back at the TARDIS here. Um, right beside the quarantine station. I'm going to go into the TARDIS because it's bloody cold out here. And radiation is high. So, I'm thinking back to when I went down to the planet the first time. And the radiation level kind of sucked. And, well, everything kind of sucked, if I remember rightly. And I was thinking about the possibility of using a medical augment to help me. Now, there is... Obviously, food regeneration would be great. Radiation reduction, health regeneration, all sounds really good. Um, the main thing I'm actually going to have a problem with is the elemental pentaxid, as I've used most of that up. Um, because I believe I used it up making bullets. Now, I can make, I think I've got one more. Yeah, I can't make enough. I can make one lot more and that's going to end up in the wrong box. But have I got, I'm going to check if I have any more pentaxid kicking around because I think if I have, I can, um, I can make an augment of some description, either this, either that one or the combat augment also took my fancy. Um, so I'll have a look and see what I can do. Okay, so I do have enough pentaxid in my stores. So now the big question is, medical augment is just three health regen. Now I think radiation down there is pretty bad. And if I take the plus 75 food, food regeneration three per 25 seconds means I don't have to carry a lot of food on me. Um, and health regeneration obviously handy and maintains a neutral body temperature also going to be extremely handy scout speed i have a plan for not running everywhere like i did last time so i don't think i need that yet combat health regeneration 15 per 10 seconds massive and stamina regeneration 10 also massive but i think i'm going to go for this one I don't have enough points to go for them all, so I think we're going to go for this one, the Survival Augment. Um, and I'm going to see if I can make a Survival Augment before we head down there. And the other thing I need to make, which I'm flying away from this constructor, but I need it. The other thing I want to make is this. I want the Junk Bike. The junk bike is going to be in my inventory because I don't believe I can get away with a, with a vessel anymore. So I believe I need a junk bike to fly around in. So I want some junk, a junk bike, some fuel, and uh, the survival augment. So let's see if I can get all that together. Okay, so I've got my augment ready, and here it is. I will be applying that augment very shortly. Um, I just wanted to note the reason I've got five carbon substrate in my inventory is because I noticed I couldn't actually carry a portable constructor as well. So what I'm going to do is simply make said portable constructor and have it here because that's a good way to, to deal with this as an issue. Um, the other temptation there is also to grab some water and do something similar. So if we like grab the couple of bottles of water, you can actually 
use the suit to make some of those and that will use up that water in a minute but um i don't know if i'm gonna do that in the meantime let's start off by using the augment um okay and this is a full level three augment so this gives us a big boost in food and hopefully actually our food will be regenerating while we're on the station along with our health along with everything else i am gonna just munch a bit of something just to get us back up towards that end of things um so our health and everything will be nicely boosting up i'm gonna fill up the last of my inventory with um just a couple more of these as many as i can carry so i can get some oxygen going just in case i need it so i don't need too much extra oxygen and if i need to i can start processing fuel or anything like that so i think i'm ready to go ha 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 he says that's what i thought last time so I mean, I can go back and forth, but I don't want to go back and forth like I did last time. I really want to actually do this in one hit this time. So, with that in mind, let's get out and get to the quarantine station. Um, where are you? It's cold out there. So, I should be fairly radiation resistant as well, which is good. I'm hoping this will all be good. Welcome to the quarantine station, Theta Beta Vanguard Corp Space Corp. All right, let's um hit off the jetpack and go. So, control bedrooms, garden, sick bay, teleporter, training. So this is um, going to be quarters. Happy days. Very exciting here. Let's um. I'm assuming this is Polaris, so I'm assuming if I go into this, yes, I would upset Polaris greatly. Um, I can't go through here, and there's an interesting switch. Um, now, if I remember rightly, there's a bit of fun here, because I can't go through here, it says enter lock code. So, what I need to do is get a lock code, because I think there is a lock, a way to get a lock code, if I remember rightly. So, let's... um start off by stealing some of this gentleman's O2 and what do you sell Ooh, you sell like command officers and stuff like this this is really useful look command officer minus um a thousand cpu um engineering station right we need to look at shopping here because engineering station master technician now, like, shield recharge bonus. You see, shield recharge bonus is a good thing, Master Shield Technician. Shield Technician. How, does it say how many you can have? Maximum amount one, maximum amount two. Ooh. Um, I don't suppose I can uh, actually, like, if I buy these, they go to my connected inventory? Oh, no. Oh, I, I bought two Master Shield Technicians. Damn it, like a idiot um okay they were cheap who cares um right tactical does what okay we'll have a tactical officer as well why the hell not it reduces cpu um there doesn't seem to be a maximum amount of tactical officers quartermaster um what does he do reduces cpu um sure we'll have one of those as well a receptionist um why not so we'll have command officer yes and we'll have the engineering station as well maximum amount three so one two three now i think i'm actually connected to a fridge at the moment am i not i am connected to a fridge so let's go and put this somewhere sensible where i'm actually going to remember where the hell they are so let's put them in Let's put them in a dump box. Why the hell not? And then we can set these guys up later. Because these will all be useful. Thank you. 
That was that was worth the journey here just for that. Because I've been being told to get those for quite a while. Okay, so here is station administration. And he does nothing for me. This is the teleporter. But you'll find that I am not allowed to teleport. It has a lock code. So make sure we're showered. Make sure we're good to go. And there is a guy here. What do you sell? You sell food and munchables. Okay. We're about to leg leave, leave the, 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 the logistics network. Excellent. Um, have a seat until you're called. Um, how long have you been waiting, mate? Long time? Okay. You sell all the medicals. Okay, not going to worry about that. Um, right. Where was the bloody lock code? There was a lock code around somewhere. Um, this is Polaris Mission Return. Um, do you have... I have nothing for the Polaris, no. Uh, Galactic Information Network does nothing. Okay, and you, sir? You sell boosts and all the goodies, and I could probably sell you some stuff, actually, later. You might think about selling you some stuff. So you need a friendly up base in range. Yeah, and you are, you sell more stuff. You can sell me Unicart stuff as well. Excellent. Um, and you don't buy a lot in the way of guns, do you? It's disappointing. Okay, so need to find, there was a, a way to get in there because then the code for the teleporter is behind a desk, I remember. But I don't remember where to get the code for the door. So bear with me a minute and I will try and figure that out. Okay, so to let people know where I went, I'm on this level where basically the level I came in on, um, I think like from not that one, I came in on one of these. I think it was this one, exit to dock three. Yep, I came in here, and you want to go down this one, which is Pax Purgatory, Lounge and Grill, and Restrooms. And then if you go to the to the restrooms at the back, there is this. Security code 2449. Don't lose this. <laughs> so, that is the security code to the door to get in to the control room. So if we enter this, it's 2449. Yoink, and the door is open. And we don't need to remember that anymore. Now, I don't know what this lever does. Let's find out. Teleporter deactivated. Teleporter activated. Teleporter deactivated. Okay. So you don't need to activate the teleporter. But now, if I remember rightly, I think it's behind here. Do, 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 do. There is admin 2449, which we know teleporter is 1377 and 8444 for waste processing. Now, I don't remember there being a use for waste processing, but who knows? Um, and I've already forgotten it was 13 one, one something, 1377. Okay, 13, oh, can't get through that bloody thing. 1377. But yeah, I don't remember if there is a use for the waste processing one. I've never actually found a door for it. But we now have access to the teleporter. So the teleporter over here, we should now be able to access it and put in 1377. And woomph. And we're there. Just like that, we are here. Galactic Information Network, not particularly useful. These people will sell and buy the usual, I believe. Nothing much more than that. So there are things here we can find useful. And this guy, oh, this guy sells another bunch of command officers. Command officer. 
did I already have a command officer? I didn't have one of these. Um, I had I had these, but a command officer. Not sure if I had one or not. I, I have a feeling I do. I would have to check and come back for those. So anyway, let's move on to what we need to do, what we need to do, which is get into one of these parking bays. Now out here it is pretty bloody horrendous if I remember rightly. Um, right, so radiation is high enough to be a problem. Temperature is cold enough to also be a problem. Excellent. Because I have a radiation boost in. So this is plus 7 radiation protection. Plus thing, I've got minus 11. My augment, I thought, was supposed to prevent me from suffering radiation. Um, radiation reduction, 0 0.3 per 30 seconds. So I should be fine. Shouldn't need to worry about radiation. Maintains a neutral body temperature. So I'm hoping my augment is going to work fine for me. Cores I have here. Um, so what we need to do is crack out the hover bike. And we can... Capital vessels are not allowed to spawn on this playfield. This is not a capital vessel. You bastard. Does it look like a capital vessel? No! It is not a capital vessel. It's a hover vessel. So, I mean, that is annoying. That seems to... That upsets me greatly, because that was supposed to be the way forwards here. Was to take the hover, a hover bike with me and do that. Many people have said I should have done that last time. Um, I think I did try in the end, but yeah, I thought this had been fixed because no, it will had had told me that um, I wasn't going to be able to spawn a or get a SV on this planet anymore. Only hover vessels. Well, it looks like I can't even have a hover vessel. Capital vessels are not allowed to be spawned on this playfield. So that is a complete waste of time, which is a pain, to say the least. So, with that in mind, we're heading out, and maybe we'll find a box in which we'll stick it. Um, I probably won't take it back. Um, I might just trash it. If I need to, I'm going to trash it. So... In which case, we will take the detector, which I handily remembered to bring with me. And we'll see if we can find anything useful on this planet. Right. We have resources are Sathium and Neodymium. Of course they are. They are. Um, and so far, we have nothing showing up in terms of anything whatsoever. Right, in which case, I hate to say it, but I'm going back and I'm getting a bike. I hate the bike. I really hate the bike. We all know I hate the bike. But, I gotta do it anyway. Okay, so here we are, back down on the planet. I have with me the motorbike. And I have noticed I am still consuming food. Even though, even when I'm not moving or not running, I, I kind of do still sort of consume food, but very slowly. Um, oxygen is obviously going to be the biggest thing I consume, but you can see I bought the bike. But I've also bought an oxygen tank, a fuel tank, and a generator. Because these are things I needed last time for a hover vessel. And I figure... If I'm going to have to do the hover vessel, if I'm going to have to build a hover vessel down here again, I might as well bring those bits with me if I can carry them, because I'm probably going to need them. So, with that in mind, um, there's no point in go Well, my plan is to actually go to the resource 
because why the hell not? Um, because, I, you know, I might as well pick a direction. And the direction might as well be discover where that resource, what that resource is. So with that, we are going to turn at the speed of a small, of a, of a planet. Oh my lord, this thing is so much easier to turn if you back it up. You can turn that way and you go forwards, but even if you press like Q or anything, it just, it, it doesn't lean like a bike. It just does not work. Right, before I start ranting about how terrible the motorbike is, that I believe they are overhauling, thank God. Um, we'll go that way. I can't even turn at all here. Oh my Lord. Right, fine. Get it off, get off, put it down. Let's take this one down. Let's put it on the bar and then we can just we can just physically turn it because this is the only motorbike that only goes in a straight line. Right, hang on, before we get too carried away, let's ping the pingy again. Right, go this way towards the resource, please, if you don't mind. And then hopefully we will manage to find, look, there's a alien thorn there but probably can't carry it at the moment so we won't panic too much about it oh god i need to turn quick get off the bike quick get off the bike pick it up rotate slightly oh it's a neodymium deposit interesting nice um bad guys right any chance of anything that is not them Right, what's that over there? Let's find out what that is. But I'm not kidding. I'm glad they're overhauling this thing. I swear every time I use it, it gets worse. Look, it, it, you lean, it appears to turn. I ride motorbikes. I, or I have in the past. I still own a motorbike, though I'm getting rid of it. But, um, you know. I know how they turn. Not like this. All right. Let's ping again. Okay. So, so far, nothing. I mean, just out of interest, is that a, when they say discarded extender, is that a base extender? I mean, that could be interesting because you could always put like a base teleporter down here and then teleport down um i'm gonna which one am i gonna sacrifice for a minute the handgun i think um just sorry the shotgun uh no it's a capital vessel t2 complete waste of time down here then because you couldn't build one i'm assuming you couldn't put the block down your bike's over there so now we shall go west because, well, because the bike can't turn in any other direction. So we'll go west. Oh God, it's cold. Now, hopefully the cold will not be a problem. Um, we have some horrible cloud, whatever. I'm going to have to get off in a minute and ping the uh, detector again to see if we can find anything anything something it's like these blocks out here don't exist um okay i mean the red is over in that direction now red on the inside normally means something of interest so i mean the beauty is there is some serious pentaxid down here which would be lovely to lay your hands on um again if there was a teleporter down here it would be the way to do it so i'm gonna head this way this is oh this is not what i was thinking of so this is more these are polaris security bots 
and we are going back down this way but I still find uh, so the red on the thing was the security bot great that is depressing um, okay so I will now keep going perhaps in a southwest direction if the bike will accommodate that which it looks like it may not um, until I try and until I find well something because this thing is awful right okay picking it up and ping right there's some stuff over here please god be a hover vessel um oh my jetpack is off I was like why is my jetpack not working surely I can use my jetpack to get like a bird's eye view here so that looks like a hover vessel over there. Yeah, because I want to go back with about a thousand alien thorns as well. But I mean, I don't have to get them from this planet. But that is definitely a hover vessel over there. So let's run over, though it tanks the food. Screw it. Okay, we'll use the bike. We'll use the bike brain. It only has to go in a straight line. Junk hover vessel. Hello, junk hover vessel. What do you have to offer me? You are a piece of junk. I've seen you before. Okay. So, what do you have? You have a fridge. You have cement. Fantastic. Um, what else do you have on you? Let's whop a core on you and see what you got. Um... Let's walk the core on you and see what you got. You're missing a fuel tank, you're missing a generator. Well, as it happens, you don't have any hover engines, but you have a Gatling gun. So what you're telling me is you're a complete waste of time. Okay. So next stop, over there. Let's go that way. Right, I am going to take something off the bar here because I, um, what am I taking off the bar? Oh, we're risking it by taking bandages off the bar, but screw it. Okay, let's drive this way. Another junk hover vessel. And we'll see if that one's a little bit more palatable. Okay, you... Honestly, you don't look more palatable. You have a cockpit, you have a detector, you have storage containers and extensions, you even have Wi-Fi. You have a gigantic hole in you. Um, and But you do have a hover engine. Oh, I think, I, I think you're, I think you're the one, sir. I really do. As much as you may not believe it, you may well be the one so in with a core which is gonna go oh yeah, 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 standard location back here somewhere let's stick it there you're not gonna have enough directional thrust to sink a battleship by the looks of it um, but we've got one on that side one on that side I mean, now we've got the core on, we can actually start taking bits off. Like, let's take that Wi-Fi block and, oh God. Oh God, I'm trapped. I'm trapped in the block. Okay, I'm trapped in the walkway block. Oh my Lord. My my jetpack's a little aggressive today. Um, so Wi-Fi there. We have some sort of so we're missing fuel tank we have one hover engine which is wonderful one landing gear spotlight we have um front rear no front back two on the right so if we move one of the we move oh, jesus <laughs> oh it's a little twitchy if we move one of these 
over to the right. Do you, drunk hover vessel, you have, yeah, you have a fridge only. You don't actually have a storage container for that, which means, can I, if I put this down, can I make, I don't think I can make the storage controller for a hover vessel in this. I think I need a small thing to do it. I don't think I can make them. No. The other option would be to go back and get a storage controller because this thing's this thing can can do it, you know. It's got enough blocks on there to put together a storage controller and system and that would be acceptable. I'm just thinking if I can't carry this. Right, we're taking that medium thruster and we're sticking that medium thruster right <laughs> where the sun don't shine, he's gonna say. Um, okay, that medium thruster is going there. Okay, so we have a core. We have. We're gonna use a drone now. We have a core. We have all a Wi Fi, in fact. And now we're gonna have. A generator right here and we're gonna put a fuel tank right here and then we will just for the lols stick in an O2 tank um, let's stick it I mean we could stick it underneath but I don't like the idea of it being exposed underneath so I'm going to stick it there. And with that, we should now have... I mean, we're getting through O2 relatively quickly, actually. Let's uh, do that. We should have a fully functional hover vessel. Um, manage, let's put um, just two in there will do for now. And uh, it should be enough. Wee -hee -hee for us to actually move. Um, let's power it on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We have a proper detector. We have a hover vessel. And we have what we're looking for just over here. So we're not going to be able to move very fast. But I'm probably going to... Oh god. Why is why can I not turn one way here? Hang on, I got not got enough. I need to move the screen back to actually see why I can't turn one way. Right, thruster is on. Front thruster, side thruster. I should be able to rotate. I can't seem to rotate that way. Okay, we're gonna rotate fully the other way. But if we go over to one of the other vessels, we can probably put together enough to get ourselves moving. And let's see here. Where are we going? I've gone too far. So we've got small wreckage. Interestingly, I heard there weren't going to be small wreckages on this anymore. Um, is pilot mode on? Pilot mode is not on. That's one of the one of the reasons this is kind of difficult. But I want to go over to one of the small wreckages. Yeah, I can't seem to. I can only seem to yaw in that one direction. It's probably because of where the thrusters are positioned. Um, yes, it is. I can see that the front and rear thrusters are positioned not in a friendly manner. So we're going to go over and check out one of these to get ourselves moving at a sensible pace before we go over to the mysterious altar uh, but that will have to be next time as i'm gonna say thank you very much for watching like and subscribe as always and join us again next time when we might be using whatever that is over there on the horizon to 
either become our hover vessel or um you know boost up this one thanks a lot